Welcome to Quran, and guess what we're doing today? We are doing the super ultimate tour. We're going to be going to lagoons, beautiful beaches, and much more, so stay tuned for that. We're getting on another boat. Oh my god, I have my cell phone too. No worries. I feel like you'd be safer with this. Yeah. My hands are full. Oh, I'm teetering. I'm scared. Should I let it teeter for her? Here, I'll, I'll let it go down. That was actually so scary. Someone else was on the board and I was like teetering with her. I'm like, oh my god. I think it's a one at a time kind of thing. Yeah. I was gonna hold it down for Shelby and I'm like, wait a second, it's supposed to go down. And it's like, it's like this narrow. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> this, is our, this is our boat for the day. She's a beauty. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. Oh, just kidding. Um, our boat's still down there. Yeah, keep going, keep going. <laughs> no, thank you. Onwards. <laughs> Watch yourself. Woohoo! <laughs> How about you, sir? All right. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh my gosh, we going on <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> One more boat and it's right there. This is awesome. Sir. Oh, that's a big one. Can we let all the guys go up? Go first, please. Yeah, to get the boat down. Yeah, sure. Men first. All right, sir. There's no. It's, isn't it ladies first? No, nowadays there, there are no ladies first all right. anymore. Woo! <laughs> All the men are standing at the front of the boat right now trying to lower it so the ladies have an easier way of getting on. <laughs> Welcome aboard! <laughs> Third and final boat! Is this our boat or do we have one more done? <laughs> so, head down one more time to the fourth boat. Will this be it? We'll never know. Looks like it'll be our final destination. Welcome to the fourth and final boat. <laughs> yeah, so I am Jerry Poe, one of your guys for today, and my partner Lloyd. How am I looking? We're sitting right here in the sun waiting for uh, the manifest and all the things to get cleared by the Coast Guard, but woohoo! Ready to get to our first destination and jump in that water. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. See the sun? Freaking blazing hot, man. So this tour cost us 1,700 pesos each to go on the super ultimate island tour. Our uh, snorkels and mask are 150 and the fins are to be determined. Our tour guide Jerry was making a joke about that Koran Island looks like a big sleeping giant. And he asked us, is it a female or a male? And I said, I was cracking a joke and I said female because females are better and he laughed. But he said it's actually a male and you could probably guess why because on the island, I'll leave it up to your imagination. It's a male. We're here at Kayangan Lake and it is beautiful. The limestone cliffs are absolutely incredible. The water is crystal clear. Oh my gosh. So right now we're just climbing steps to actually get into Kayangan Lake. I thought we were already in it back there, but nope, we definitely weren't. So you can probably hear them out of breath. Lots of stairs, but yeah. So we're just on our way to the lake now. Oh boy, are we here? We climb. <laughs> Hike on! Oh no, it's just a rest stop. We got a traffic jam, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. If you come on up here, this is the main picture taking spot. Instagram. Great. <laughs> Instagram worthy. I think it's actually a postcard you can buy, but it's better when you come up and you can be in the photo. So you can come over to this cool spot, which is like a cave, really 
cool cave uh, right across from the viewpoint. So you can kind of get like, you can get your nice photo here, you can get your nice photo here. We haven't seen anyone go in there yet. I don't think. Yeah. I don't know what's in there. So after you leave that viewpoint, now you have to head down some more stairs, which you know you're going to be coming back up to go to your boat. But uh, it's that viewpoint is so awesome. Everyone today is so energetic. They were actually uh, cheering for Shelby and I to kiss while we were getting our photos for Instagram. Like, kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> where you park is not where you go to the lake and swim so if you want to go to the lake and swim make sure to bring your life jacket because we didn't and we're not sure if we can actually get in the water and the reason we made the executive decision not to swim is because i don't think there's any fish there is no coral but there is some cool rock formation so i'm not going to shut it right down and if you're really <laughs> going up and down these stairs it would be really nice to get in the water and look at those rocks it's so beautiful down there man. yeah, yeah. I see so many people do it and it looks amazing. We're just getting close to the lake and people are passing by us being like, it's breathtaking, it's beautiful. All the words you could use is being described for this lake. So this lake is made up of 70% fresh water and 30% salt water. It's like brackish water. Of course, water. no jellyfish inside of here. No jellyfish inside of here. But do they normally like to hang out in brackish water? The yeah. Buff, yeah, just not in here. We're going to the forest. <laughs> For a moment there, I didn't know there was going to be a walkway, and I thought you had to go right into the lake. This way, our place. We're going this way. <laughs> left, right. All right, we're going left. Wow, this is absolutely breathtaking. Look at everyone just lounging in the water. The sun is nice, warm. Luckily, they have signage for you. Watch out. You may cut yourself if you don't have your rock shoes on. Water shoes. And they got a lifeguard, maybe. It's definitely pretty busy, but we kind of assumed that coming on the Korong tours, it's really popular. And especially the Super Ultimate Tour, you're kind of hitting all those main spots. So if you want something a little bit more private, highly recommend a private tour. But we don't mind, honestly. Rebel without a cause. I don't have my life jacket. I'm going to try to swim and see what they say. And she's in. That's nice. Is it? Here it is. I'm a rebel, guys. You might not get to do this if you don't have your life jacket, but... All right, our time at this beautiful lake has expired. Time to head up the stairs, up and then back down and back to our boat. Next destination awaits. One thing really cool about this tour is in between every single stop, it's less than 20 minutes. So you're not on the boat very long and you're doing something almost at all times of the day. Our first stop, or our first snorkel stop, the Coral Gardens. Oh, you! All right, you can do it. You introduce the Coral Gardens. We're at our first stop at Coral Gardens, and we're gonna snorkel. Right on. And I hear there's about a hundred giant clams that have been placed, so maybe we'll see one. leaving the snorkel spot saw giant clams some more dories what did you see i didn't see any dories but the yeah. giant clam was really cool i didn't expect it to be so huge it was literally huge and when you went near it it kind of like closed yeah. in a yeah, little yeah i saw multiple giant clams and i also saw small clams that were all intertwined in the coral doing their little dance like teal purple all bright vibrant colors now we're only five minutes away from the beach that we're about to go to it's like cyc beach Kron youth club beach yeah
Land ho! What are you looking in here, sweetie? Snacks. <laughs> Snacks. So this nice gentleman right here is selling us drinks, alcoholic and not. And he has a big bag. It's like Santa Claus came to this boat. He's got Red Horse for 70. He even has Coke with zero sugar for 50. I'm not sure how much all the snacks are, but I couldn't see them being too crazy. It's uh, 7-Eleven. You're on 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, let's do it. So we're all just hanging out on this little beach here. Um, there's this guy that came around on his little kayak boat. And hi! And he sold everyone. He's 7-Eleven! <laughs> He's 7-Eleven on the boat. We'll, we'll drop the location <laughs> <laughs> Our best 7-Eleven man. You want to buy some beer? Yeah. Coca-Cola and Sprite. Yeah, he's got all the goods. We got Coke, we got beer. What? Yep, we got everything. chips. So yeah, we got everything. <laughs> Thank so, you. Yeah, so everyone's just hanging on the boat, having some beer, having some drinks and chips. And yeah, it's just really nice. The sun's out and can't complain. So he's just tugging them back right now because we see them far out there and he's trying to call them in because we're going to our next destination and they got stuck out there. So he had to go get them and he towed them back. We're leaving Beer Island. We all got our snacks and beer and now we're beelining it towards another beach to have lunch. I think it's 15 minutes away. Beach 91 right now. This is where we're gonna have lunch uh, for my foodies on the channel. The best part. And it is freaking beautiful. Like the tide's high right now, so there's actually no beach. Usually there is. Um, but I think we're just gonna crawl in some boats and try to get across. No, no. Thank you. you made it. <laughs> the hardest part is them all trying to grab you, but when you're steady footed, they're not used to it. It helps me, I'm not steady footed, so. I'm clumsy. So right beside our little dining room table there, we can uh, come right down to the water. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. They're just kind of setting up and preparing. I think they said five, 10 minutes. So, I mean, look at this. this is honestly <laughs> incredible. So I just dished up and we have quite an amazing array of food. We got like, looks like a clam. We got chicken, prawns, rice, pinoy power, eggplant salad, panzit, bihon, I think, and lato and cucumber salad. I'm so excited and so ready to eat this. Wow, Area 91 was awesome. The food was delicious. And now everyone's scrambling, heading back to the boat. Right now we are just slowly boating through the twin lagoons and everyone's taking their chance to go up at the front of the boat and take get a picture taken. It's hard to pick a favorite spot, but this place is absolutely unreal. Like the sharp, jagged cliffs kind of separating this lagoon is honestly beautiful. I can't wait to see what the other one looks like on the other side. All right, sweetie, you're gonna get your hair wet. Going in between one lagoon to the other, you either hike up and go over, or you can go under because it's just getting low tide right now. And you have to watch your head. And we're on the other side. The twin of the twin lagoons. It's amazing. It doesn't get much better than this. I'd say this is my favorite spot. What do you say? Oh, I love snorkeling. Oh, that's true. It's a hard one. But this is pretty nice. This is very nice. You're surrounded by all the cliffs. Not as busy. And 
you don't have to wear your life jacket if you're a solid swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> There's our crew. I love it. <laughs> Shelby's having flipper regrets. Uh, you know, it's actually, it's a little bit far, so if you're not a good swimmer, absolutely bring a life jacket. We've made it to the end of the second lagoon. Favorite. <laughs> oh, our day is nearing an end. We still have some more snorkeling to do, but holy crap, what a what an amazing tour. The super ultimate tour, when they say that, it sounds scary, but I would actually say it's fine. It's pretty it's not, amazing. It's not super rushed, I would say. I, I would say it's fine. No, everything's awesome. And like, mm -hmm. you never have more than 20 minutes in between everywhere you're going. We have yeah. two more stops after this. Yeah. Going through with a kayak or a canoe is a little more different. <laughs> good job. <laughs> that is, that's a good limbo. Let's roll, darling. <laughs> Traffic jam at the Twin Lagoons. We're playing Tetris with the boats here. But that's the one thing about Southeast Asia is they are so handy with like weaving in and out of places and moving the boats and hopping on other boats. It's like very, very convenient. Bye. That's hilarious. It's so funny. These two are always like do it off doing their own thing, and we're always picking them up. It's so awesome. <laughs> it's like kind of the way to be though, is just yeah. to like do your own thing, and then if you get if they need to find you, they'll find you. So we are at our second to last stop, Barracuda Lake, and we are gonna be doing free diving and swimming here. And we kind of have to go through this little passageway, this little tiny narrow passageway. That seems to be a common thing here in Koron. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Get your hat, please. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Up, over this way? Yeah. Sounds good. Hello, hello. <laughs> wow, it's always so awesome going through all of the different neighboring boats to get to the shoreline. I'm making it. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> Woohoo. Perfect. Thank you. We did another boat shuffle. Uh huh. I feel like walking would have been easier. <laughs> Probably, yeah. So we just climbed those short, I think it was like 22 steps through the jagged rock cliffs to get to Barracuda Lake, which looks really nice behind me. We're gonna do some free diving. I actually don't know if there's snorkeling here. I don't know. Maybe there is, but I'm not sure. You guys will find out very soon. That was three. That was three, four. I'll give them a four. A for effort. hanging out here on my life jacket. Usually I'm like snorkeling and swimming and I'm just like, I'm just, you know, this is, this is my life right now. And I'm just staring at these beautiful, I can't get over these cliffs. These fucking jagged cliffs are just stunning. <laughs> we look so good right now. Hello, it's pretty deep here. It's so deep, but it's really cool. So snorkeling actually is not on this one. It's our last stop. So this is more of like a, a free diving, looking at the cliffs. It is. The cliffs so cool. are magnificent. So we've never seen anything really like that underwater. So that 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 was really different. That was yeah. really fun. This tour, I would say personally, is more scenery, a lot of swimming and snorkeling. What do you think? 
Like if you're if you're a beach bum and you want to hang out on the beach all day, this is not your tour. It is too shallow for them to come pick us up at Paracuda Lake. So everyone is swimming out to the boat. And if you can't swim, you're getting kayaked out to the boat individually. I think they might be getting pulled or putting two per kayak and taking them out. So we are at our last stop, Twin Peaks Coral Garden. <laughs> and apparently the corals are a little bit more bright and beautiful. Um, when the sun is strong, sun's kind of going down now, so hopefully we can still see some stuff, but apparently there's a ton of sea urchins, so I'm gonna try my best not to get stabbed by a sea urchin. One, two, was a super duper awesome island tour. It was a really good island tour. Not many beaches, but lots of things to do and to see, and our tour guides were absolutely amazing. If you guys enjoy the videos and want to see more Filipino adventures, please subscribe, like, share with your friends, drop a comment, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye!